Hey, welcome back to Through the Prism of Chrism. I'm Chris. Thanks for being with us. We're still talking for a few days this week uh, on the power of our words. Today, I want to speak on television. No, I didn't say television. I'm not preaching against the evils of TV, but tell a vision. If you have a vision, tell it. Uh, you have to forth tell what God says. Now, I'm not talking about fortune telling or foretelling, but forth telling. I'm not a palm reader. I'm a psalm quoter. I want to quote a psalm today on telling the vision. Psalm 2 and verse 7, David said, I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, thou art my son this day have I begotten thee. Now notice this, I will declare the decree. When God decrees something, we bring it into manifestation by declaring what he says. In Isaiah 46 and verse 10, God declares a thing or declares the end from the beginning. Before he even gets started, he's speaking it. Isaiah 42 and verse 9, new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So when we say things, it causes it to spring forth. So let's talk about tell a vision. Number one, we are tell a vision broadcasters. In fact, through the prism of chrism is a tell a vision network. You can see I like to play with words. I like the word prophecy, profess, see. Whatever you see, profess what you see. That becomes a, a prophecy. Uh, Jeremiah 23 and verse 28, the prophet that has my dream let him tell a dream, television. And he that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. In other words, if you have a dream, tell it. That's what Joseph did. You tell the dream, you spell the dream, write it down. You sell the dream. Ultimately, get to where you can smell the dream, to where it becomes real to you. And then number two, when you declare a thing, you declutter a thing. The problem with most people is they speak in generalities, or if on the flip side, they speak in ambiguities. Habakkuk 2 and verse 2 says, write the vision and make it plain that he may read it. In other words, make it clear. When you declare the dream, you declutter the dream. You need no ambiguity in your prayers. You need to be crystal clear on what you're believing for. And then number three, if you need a word prophesy over yourself. I hear people, you got a word for me? Oh, I just wish somebody give me a word. Hey, you know what I've instructed myself to do? Give myself a word. Sometimes I just lay my hands on my head and begin to prophesy. Thus say of the Lord, you're going to the nations. You're going to increase. You're the head, not the tail. You're blessed. Learn how to prophesy over yourself. Tell a vision. Let me tell you something about this book. This, this book, I see Jesus on every page of it, but I also see myself on every page. And I'm not afraid to declare what God's word says about me. Do you realize this is a biography written about you? And it was written 2,000 years before you were born. You got scripture for that? Yes. Hebrews 10 and 7. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. Did you see that? What's in this book is written about me. It's written about you. So don't be afraid to personalize what's in the word and then verbalize what's in the word. And then number four, you need to quit contradicting your confession. You know, there are two interesting words. The word confession in Greek or profession is homo logeo. Homo of the same kind, logeo, logic, language. In other words, to speak the same as God speaks. That is homo logeo. Or in other words, homologizing with the word. But the other, the opposite, is anti-logeo. In other words, to be anti or to speak against the logo. In Acts 13 and 45, when it said they were contradicting the things that Paul said, that is the Greek word antilego, or we could say antileja, anti-legitimizing. Do you realize you can anti-legitimize the thing that you're believing for by the words that you profess? So, number four, quit contradicting your own confession. And then number five, verbalization is vital to visualization. You know, the woman saw the hem of his garment. She verbalized him. But then she began to say within herself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be whole. So you say it, then you see it. You verbalize, then you visualize, and pretty soon you're going to vandalize. You want to tear up the devil's kingdom and vandalize his work. You start speaking what God's word speaks. Chris here talking about tell a vision. Now you can go watch TV if you want, but you need to learn to TV your vision. Give voice to your vision. See you tomorrow with more on Through the Prism of Chrism. Like if you like and do share this with a friend, because I believe these messages are really helping a lot of people. See you tomorrow.